Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Fun video for you guys today. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this makeup look is very, very pretty today. And the reason is because I have used something from each of my top three makeup products within each category. I just posted that video where I told you guys what my top three products were within each category just about a week and a half ago, and I still have that bin here beside me. I have picked out only from amongst that bin, from the best of the best, for today's makeup look, and this is the completed makeup look. I think it is gorgeous. My eyes match my shirt. It's always a good day when that happens. And I was just reminded of why I love these products so much. One more thing to confirm that I, I know what I'm doing here, guys. I'm kidding, though I like to think I do. But if you are curious to see what products created this makeup look today, we're gonna go through it all, put it all on together. Hope you guys are excited about it. Before we jump into the makeup, special welcome if you are a new visitor here. Very happy to have you here at my channel. I hope that you enjoy this video today, and I hope that you'll consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my other videos. But enough talking, we've got a lot of makeup to put on today, so let's get to it. Let's start with a primer. We're gonna take my Say Glowy Super Gel today. I've been really loving this one lately. However, for the last like two weeks, since I've ha I have these two spots on my cheeks that I think I told you guys about, but they're very like raised and they're right in the area where I like to put some highlighter. So I've kind of been avoiding this one for the last week since I got those two spots because it does possibly emphasize the texture right there, but man, I love the glow that this gives my skin underneath foundation. So I'm just putting on with my fingers. Just one pump, I just put it right here on top of my cheekbones, on my forehead, down my nose. Now for foundation, I have been using my ABH foundation so much lately. That's another one that I mentioned in that video, so I figured I would use a mixture of these two. These were my other two favorites, L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear, along with the Maison Snell Repair BB Cream. I'm gonna do equal parts, both of these. So let's try using my fingers today with this mixture. It might be a little bit light on me, but a great bronzer that we can use to kind of darken things up if we need to. Oh man, I forget when you use your fingers and not a sponge, you really don't need quite as much product. Like a little goes a long way. Okay, I still have left over on the back of my hand. I'm actually just gonna take that with my, my sponge. I know I said I wouldn't use a sponge, but I kind of feel like I need to blend this in a little bit more because I think I got a little bit too much. Now for concealer, we're gonna take my Kosas concealer today. I have the shade 3.2. I'll choose this one on my, under my eyes, a little bit on my eyelid. Also down the center of my nose and right here on the center of my forehead. Then we're gonna take shade four and use that one on my cheeks, on a few spots I have over here by my eyebrows, up on my temples. And then here under my nose, I've got a little bit of redness and discoloration. I'm gonna take that same wet and wild sponge to blend that in. Okay, before we move on, I do wanna add just a little bit of lip balm to my lips to get them kind of soft and prepped, ready for lipstick, lip liner. This is just my Hard Candy Plumping Serum. Lip balm, this one's in the shade Bountiful. No, not Bountiful Bear. This one is Colossal Caramel. Okay, and really quickly, before that starts to crease, let's add a little bit of powder. We'll take my RCA Mano Color Powder today. I'm gonna run that on my eyelids first, then across my forehead, and down the sides of my nose and mouth. Okay, let's do my brows next and then we'll work on the rest of the face. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this. I'm actually gonna use all three of the brow products that I mentioned in that video. The pomade, the pencil, and the brow gel. I'm just taking a little bit of this and running it through my brows. Then I will take the spoolie on the back of my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, brush them up right. I don't typically use three products in my brows. I usually will use two. And sometimes with the pomade, sometimes I use this as like a prep step for my brows to get them nice and upright. And sometimes I actually use it to set my brows in place. Sometimes I'll even put it on twice in two small layers. It's kind of a versatile product once you get to get practiced using it. Now we're gonna fill those in with the pencil. This is the shade number three. Just go under and then flick upwards. Now let's set those in place with a little bit of brow gel. This is from A2 Taos. It's the Barrage Brow Fixer. 
I will link it down below. You can get this on Amazon, I think for like 11 to $15. I got mine on YesStyle where it is a little bit cheaper. It's a really interesting formula. It's very gel-like. Sometimes it gets an air pocket in it and I get like a bubble at the top of it where it's, it's kind of gooey. It starts to like come out. I'm sorry, that looks kind of gross. But it reminds me of the movie Ghostbusters 2, I believe. The one with the guy that works in the museum and there's all that goo under the city that starts to come up through the cracks. That's kind of the consistency of this brow gel, I would imagine. That was real. Now for bronzer. We're gonna take my Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer in Sunrise L1. I have been obsessed with this bronzer lately, which is so funny because my powder bronzers have been so neglected for like a year. But I went back to this one as I was having some issues with my with the breakouts on my cheeks, and I just have been obsessed ever since. It's just the prettiest shade. It's kind of like sculpting, but it's also kind of rosy and warming at the same time. Oh man. I also love this shade for my temples. I feel like it looks really natural. It's also one of those bronzers that I just don't feel like you can screw up. I mean, I can put like way too much. It blends right out. It literally is just like the easiest bronzer to work with. Let's do highlighter next, and then we'll do my blush because I am using liquid blush. For highlighter, we're gonna take the Novel Highlighter in the shade Ozone. I wonder how much a dermatologist would charge to extract a tiny little clogged pore like that. Probably more than I would be willing to pay, but it's like right at the highest point of my cheek, so just so noticeable to me. All right, now back to an old favorite, my Juicy Pain Water Blusher in the shade PK03 or Guava. I love this so much. I feel like these have been kind of neglected over the last year. I do pull them out on occasion, but for how much I really, really deeply love these, but I am constantly trying out new blushes, so the reason I don't reach for them as often as I feel like I should is because I am just constantly trying blushes. I love trying out blushes. It's one of my favorite products to try out next to, next to eyeshadow palettes, possibly concealers, but this stuff is gorgeous. This shade is gorgeous. I'm gonna just take that and tap it back and forth on the apples of my cheeks. Then back to that sponge, I'm just running it around the, kind of this bottom edge right here. Make sure it's nice and blended. All right, let's jump into the eyeshadow palette. So I decided to go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. This one has gotten a lot of love over the last couple of months. So we're gonna start with this shade right here. This is the shade Fleur. I feel like I always start with this shade. And I think today, maybe for the first time, I might stay away from some of those greens. Those are the ones I tend to reach for anytime I pull out this palette. There's just so many pretty green shades in here. Let's do something a little bit warmer today. By the way, this is my Sydney Grace blending brush. So I'm going pretty wide with this first shade and then we're gonna kind of scale it in a bit as we get progressively darker. Now we're gonna take the shade Metro, this one right here that, what do you know, matches my shirt perfectly. I'm just gonna tap this edge of this brush, which is a smaller blending brush, a little flat on top. This one is more of like a terracotta shade. We're gonna go right into the socket with this shade, about two thirds of the way across. You do not need much on your brush that is pretty pigmented. We'll go back and blend that out a little bit better, but I just wanna place it initially. Wipe that brush off on my little towel right here, and I'm just gonna go back and forth and blend this. Not pressing too hard, because I don't want this to get too like wide. I just want to blend these edges, because it is a little bit on the dark side. Okay, now we're gonna go into this smudge brush right here. Also from Cindy Grace, we're gonna take that first shade that I used and run that under the lower lash line. If you have blue or green eyes, this a look like this is really gonna make them pop. My eyes are gray, and I feel like it's even making my eyes look much more blue or green than they are. Now I'm gonna go into a different concealer. We're gonna take my Lancome Tante Idol concealer. I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of this on the lid to do a bit of a cut crease, I guess. Just gonna swipe a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to take this brush right here from Refer. This is a Refer 21. I'm gonna just run a little bit of this on the inner corner because I want the shimmer that we put on top to really pop and then I'm really gonna concentrate this right under 
underneath that crease shade just about two thirds across, maybe just barely over halfway across. And then we'll kind of blend that down a little bit. Same on the other side. And then with a clean finger, tap over that. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna go into this shade right here, the shade Lily. It's kind of like a glittery, soft pink. We're gonna run that all over the center of the lid and then I'm gonna put the gold on the inner part or the inner corner. Okay, now we're gonna take this brush right here. This is a little detail brush, like flat concealer brush from Sydney Grace. Let's go to this gold right here. It's kind of like a peachy gold, the shade Isle. And I'm gonna wet this brush just a little bit and run that right on this inner like tear duct and pull it in just to where it overlaps that other shimmer a little bit. I wanna to try to line with this brown and then we're gonna to top it with this one right here, which is kind of like a dark brown with a green shift to it. So we're gonna start with the very dark brown with an angled liner brush, this one from Sydney Grace. And we're going to line about from the halfway mark across. I like to start at the outer corner and then slowly work my way in, keeping it right by my lashes. All right, with that same brush, we're gonna to top it with this shade right here. This is the shade Peacock. Just gives it a little bit of interest. Okay, that is gorgeous. Let's add some mascara. I'm gonna take a couple coats of my Essence Lash Princess mascara. Then I'll be back, we'll finish off with the lips and we'll be all done. And here are the finished eyes. Beautiful, beautiful look. Let's move on to the lips. So today we're gonna to use my MAC Subculture Lip Liner. I wanna keep the lips pretty nude. This is a really light lip liner. It's basically the same color as my lips, maybe a little bit more peachy. So I'm gonna start by overlining just in the center on the top and bottom, and then I'll fill them in just a little bit as well. All right, and I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this lipstick. This is Naked Blush from Flower Beauty. Then we'll pop a little bit of my Maybelline Lifter Gloss on top. This is the shade Opal. Now for some setting spray, let's take a little bit of my ColourPop Pretty Fresh setting spray. There you have it guys. This is the completed makeup look. What do you think? Is this a worthy makeup look for it being a best of the best kind of makeup look using my very favorite products? I feel like it turned out really beautiful. I know I've used all these makeup products on camera before, but it's kind of fun to put like the very top products together in one place, which I don't know that I have done before, at least not like deliberately like this. These products are tried and true. They never let me down and proved it again today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. What do you guys think about some of these makeup products? Have you guys tried these out? Have I persuaded you? over the years to try some of these things out because I know I've raved about all of these products before. If so, I certainly hope they worked out for you. Feel free to let me know down in the comments below or let me know what your top one or two or three favorite products are within a specific makeup category. I would love to know. But that is gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you again so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are doing well. Please consider subscribing. Also hit that notification bell and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.